Morning, everybody. It's Kerry and Anna from the Active IQ marketing team here. And we are very excited today uh, because we are joined by one of this year's 2021 finalists for the World Skills AOC Fitness Training Competition, Shannon Greenway, all the way from Colley Quint. So welcome, Shannon. <laughs> Hello. It's nice great to meet you, to meet you. <laughs> albeit <too>. online. <laughs> Yeah, great to meet you guys too. Thank yeah, you. It's for lovely me. to meet you. Uh, so obviously you're from sunny Wales, I'm presuming. I'm actually um, from, I live in Chippenham, but I work in Wales. So I used to live here. So yeah, but currently I'm um, still working here and obviously been to Colley Gwent. So I am local to the area in that regard. <laughs> so obviously I, I can see you've got a very NHS uniform on there. So can you tell us a little about that? So you're, you're obviously uh, taking some time from, from your busy schedule on, on your working life here. Yeah, um, so um, I've been working um, in occupational therapy as a support worker for four years now, this this month. Um, I work in um, St. Calix Hospital, which is a mental health hospital, um, and I currently work on the acute adult admission ward. Um, so people that are in crisis um, with their mental health um, or is deteriorating or they're new to services, they get admitted to my ward. Um, it's really busy, quite quick turnover. But um, it's a really good environment to be in. I love it. Um, it's very, very challenging, but I really like the challenge and I really like helping people and it's really rewarding as well. Um, so, yeah, we have quite we have a team of full of nurses and OTs and it's really good. I really enjoy it. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think a big thank you for obviously everything you do, because that, that, that's such an important oh, thing at the moment. Isn't it? Looking, that's really looking nice. after everyone's mental health and well-being. It's uh, and, and I think certainly after the the year and lockdown that, that we've come out I'm, I'm sure yeah, you've seen an, an escalation in cases and, and uh you know so, so it's a well well done you for, for, yeah. for, for oh, amazing job you. that you're doing really uh, that, that that's really exciting and I mean you, you must see yourself that is is there a really good positive link between obviously the mental well-being and the fitness side of it is, is, is that how you start yeah. to get yeah that's the kind of reason I got into it really because I wanted to start building the gym here on the board um and obviously I had to do my training before <laughs> so um that's the reason like the health board paid for me to do my fitness instructor course um and it was it was quite challenging because obviously you have to fill it in around um but that my lectures were amazing and they were such great support so I couldn't have done it without them <laughs> but um but now it's like benefits I do um one-to-one -one gym intervention on the ward at the moment um because the gym's quite small but we've got like a spin and bike we've got a treadmill we've got some weights and so I do different programs with them like when they want and um yeah it's going really well like I've had good feedback from it and the link and then we do a group about like why physical health support for our mental health and we kind of do discussions around that as well and so it's really good the patient the patients really enjoy it and they ask a lot about the gym so hopefully it's going all right <laughs> but it seems to be going it sounds well, like you're a very busy lady so that brings me to the next question really why on earth did you get involved with the competition i mean <laughs> um, <laughs> I it doesn't sound like you've hard. got the time <laughs> yeah well i am um, I've always actually wanted to be a personal trainer because I play I play football and I played football like all my life. Um and I I played football since I was six, so and I've always just loved all different sports. Um I've not really like I like the gym, but I don't really go there often. I only do like strength and conditioning work. So I've never really been fussed about working in a gym. But I just for me, fitness has just been such a big part of my life. And I've never been able to take time or busy schedule to be able to do a PT course or anything. So this was just a really good opportunity. Um, and that was the original reason and then obviously with my job it's just a plus really like it's just how much and because I'm so passionate about fitness and to be able to link that into my job with mental health is it's really I love it like it's just what I do now so I really really enjoy it and that's pretty much the reason and then obviously Karis and Chris my lectures said about doing this competition I, I didn't know what I was going to get into to be honest and I was like it sounds really exciting but quite nerve-wracking but I'll see if I can do it and I too uh, I didn't know I was going to make it this far so I'm really grateful for the opportunity um, yeah. it's so excited. great that you can combine the two the two areas that oh, you're yeah, obviously definitely. very passionate about the mental health and the fitness so it's great that you can kind of put them together yeah. and um but as we, we we all know Keris so you know she, she's yeah. very oh, very she's like very motivational very very yeah. good tutor so with, with, with that where, where do you see yourself in the future with because obviously you're talking about kind of getting a gym together for, for in in your workplace like yeah. where, where do you see that kind of going long term um so 
it's more like basically when I finish football obviously when I get a little bit older and I can't be able to like keep up with all the training and stuff I would like to um have a little side business so I've come like priority fitness is the name of my business but it's about putting your well-being first so it's just more about people in general that don't really do any sort of fitness or maybe feel don't really feel confident or don't like just don't have any time in their busy schedules and it's more of just about getting routine and structure to the day and how fitness can interlink all that basically mm. um and I would like to do um a side business on that but then I would also like do some well-being classes as well so like interlink it and think about like my work but also put it into the public so kind of link it all together gradually um and do some like groups with that really in like local centers um in around my area I'm quite new to my area so I don't really know my area well yeah because it's just new there but that's what I would like to do and just build the gym I have here really um to make it because it's just for my ward at the moment but we've got four other wards in the hospital so I would like to make it all multifunctional so everyone can have access to it um and who are on the ward patient wise um, and to do like fitness groups to link group to link the patient groups together just to get more interactive um and yeah basically that's the reason why I haven't started my business yet because I haven't had a chance and um, to kind of like with everything going on but I will really next year's my my time to kind of get it start going and see what happens and go with that really balancing a lot of uh, lots yeah. of things. you've got you've got your work you've got the gym you've got your fitness training competition uh, how do you find time to yourself uh shuttle <laughs> no it's um it has been it has been shuttle I'm not gonna lie I'm I'm so grateful for the opportunity though and it seems absolutely incredible like and it's nice to meet so many different people as well and like all their experiences um so yeah just trying to make time really like just when I can really <laughs> but it's it's hopefully going okay so we'll see what happens in the final I guess <laughs> fantastic so obviously for you then it's like you know it's, it's a bit like I feel like you know what came first the chicken or the egg type thing so yeah <laughs> obviously you, you, you said that you love football so, yeah. so did it all start from there do you think from the fitness side and then obviously the you know the, the healthcare side you know, what what can you give yeah. us a little bit about how, how it started for you so um yeah it's always been football really like I've always loved football but my mum um works in special education as well so I've always been around like people learn disabilities and um never mental health but always learn disabilities like ASD people with Asperger's like autism so I've kind of always been around that kind of setting um but fitness was just a separate thing really just something I absolutely loved and I just love I love all team sports I'm not very good at individual sports <laughs> but I love all team sports um but football yeah I just I started playing for Norwich when I was younger because my parents live over in Norwich um and then I moved to Chelsea for college and I went to America so I've kind of played football I met a lot of people in the football like that's really where I've met a lot of my friends um wow, okay so yeah you've so you've done it, a lot of traveling you've done a lot of traveling yeah, as well you, you look traveling. far too young to, to 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 have done all this in such a short space of time no I am I'm 26 but I do look bit young <laughs> yeah no it's true I know my mum my mum thinks yeah just let you get on with it she knows what I'm like now she just lets me crack on <laughs> but um but yeah so just really football and then I've come back I played for Cardiff and now I play for Bridgewater so kind of juggling all out but like to be honest I wanted to do teaching because my mum was in that set and I really wanted to follow in her footsteps because I just loved it I love when people learn disabilities and I still do um but then I just stumbled across mental health and um, I was going to go do my master's after my in America in OT. Um, but then I wanted to see if it definitely was what I wanted. Um, and I was lucky to get an interview, which I didn't know because I had no experience in mental health at all at this point. Um, and yeah, I've got an opportunity and I've been here ever since. So um, yeah, well, I, I get a really fantastic feeling from you, Shannon, that you just really want to do good and, and, and help others. I, yeah. I, 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 feel, I feel that's your whole being. That's really kind. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> but yeah, no, I do love it. I, I really do love my job. It can be stressful and you can think, oh my God. But I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. I really wouldn't. But but yeah, that's, that's kind of how. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good. I'm excited to see what can happen, go from there, really. <laughs> So moving back to the the competition itself, um, last year was um, all online. How how do you feel this year about it all going face to face and you know going to Loughborough College? And... I'm really excited because yeah. when we done the um, the semi final, it was on Seam. I was I was actually really I found it really nerve wracking, and I didn't think I'd done 
or that well because I think it's obviously you're motivating people but I way rather do it in person like even like the theory work obviously there's like you do session plans and things but I just love interacting with people and I'd way rather just say if they give me a scenario I'll do it like I just I love teaching people and learning from people as well so for me it's I think it's great that we're doing it in person like I'm so glad to be honest um, and I can imagine how hard it was for people doing it online last year like because I found I found the Zoom more nerve-wracking than anything Um, I think it's just because I, I'm not really you're used to it are you like you'd very well just do it in person Um, but yeah I'm really excited I'm really looking forward to it and my, my colleagues actually being my client which is even better so we work really closely together um, so yeah so see see how it goes <laughs> fantastic so can you tell us about your journey in the competition so far so so yeah. of course you know you are a finalist which is amazing congratulations mm-hmm. but what have you had to do to get to be a finalist so obviously for, for, for everyone watching who, who doesn't know all the hard work you've put in so far so I um, obviously done the fitness um, instructor course and the level level one level two um with a colleague Gwen and that was over two weekends and that was really hard but got through it and managed to um get a certificate which is great from our amazing lectures and then um got onto the personal training course and colleague Gwen were really really lucky to have funding for the course um so that's the reason why I done it as well in and around work so it was like every Tuesday night for like school school term um and yeah it was really difficult but you know with our, the peers in the group and lectures we got through it and then um when I I think when I was doing the group session Karis and Chris decided they wanted to put me through to the competition and I didn't know what it was I'm not gonna lie (laughs) I didn't have a clue what it was um and he told me about it and I was like wow that sounds like a really cool opportunity and I had like all these ideas but I just didn't know when I was going to fit it in to whatever was going on at that time in my life um but then we had to do like an online test um and then we had to do a video about our business and it took a long time <laughs> but I done it and um it was yeah I didn't want to watch it back because I was quite a bit like oh my god like look at me but it actually sounded all right in the end I was happy with it and then um obviously then we had the semi-final on Zoom which I actually trained my partner on um my boyfriend so that was interesting he was at home and I was at work doing it in the gym so that was weird how you had to like use um obviously I use something you so I use a golf club because he's a golfer for him and a football because he really loves football so quite similar to me um and just different household items really and I found that quite interesting and different so I really like that part of it um and obviously yeah now I'm in the finals to be honest when we got the email I could believe it to be honest because <laughs> it'd been a little while and and the fact that all um our friends that had been on the course the ones that had been put forward you all got on which is even amazing because we can all support each other as well um and carers and Chris are just wonderful so they've just been amazing lectures so yeah like I wouldn't have been here without them to be honest so yeah really grateful oh but, that's yeah, a very that's nice person nice we we, we we know Kerry's quite well you know we we, we, we see her well I'd say we see her every year of course we, we didn't get a chance last year but uh yeah I, I know she absolutely loves the competition and uh yeah. Uh, I'm sure she's absolutely thrilled to have four of you, yeah, I know. Uh, you know, go, going through for this for this year's finals. So and, and and it's great to hear that you're supporting each other. So I'm um, you know I'm 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 sure that's like a, a massive thing. So yeah. of course, I guess the important question is like, how did you celebrate when you found out you were a finalist? Oh, I don't know. I think I just got the email and I was just like, I couldn't believe it. To be honest, <laughs> I think I just first thing I just told my boyfriend, told my mom and dad, and then I don't think I re- I don't. Even like like attending a few of the meetings and stuff, like the, the GP, we had a meeting with one of the ladies from GP and then um all the other meetings. Like I didn't I didn't think it's still sunk in if I'm honest. Um so I have I have celebrated, but not at the same time. I think once I get all the work done, I think once I'm on there on the day and it's done, I feel like then I'll feel it the celebration <laughs> that is done and I've got there, you know. But I told a few people, but yeah, just I don't know, just overwhelmed really it's amazing like a really good opportunity yeah and and like what people have learned from the competition is really interesting as well which I like to hear about like their experiences so yeah so we will be celebrating after this is done (laughs) I'm glad to hear it I hate to be the bearer of bad news but obviously I mean Colleen Gwynn have got a pretty uh fantastic reputation at this this finals which I'm sure you're fully aware so obviously They took, uh, Danielle Hall took gold yeah. back in 2019. Of course, the lovely Catherine got bronze last year. 
So uh, how are you feeling about that? How, how are you feeling about your like, like your, your previous sort of like the, the reputation of Colly Gwent to uphold? Hey, I, I, um, is, is, is that like um, that, that, that's that's for you or, or is it more exciting? It's more exciting knowing that like like a small college like Colly Gwent can get like this many people into the final. And the fact that we're all competing on the same day is... I think for me, it, it feels a lot more um, com more comforting because obviously, like, it's just like you're in a group, like you're just doing it at college. So it, I don't feel as much pressure there um, at all. And it's, we all just love what we do. So I think doing it together makes it a little bit easier. But obviously, yeah, with the high standards of the previous years, it's just amazing. And I'm just going to think I'm just going to go on the day and just see what happens. Just go yeah. with the flow and just try and enjoy it I think if I let the pressure get to me I think I'll just get overwhelmed like so just try and enjoy it enjoy the day and just yeah and just make the most of it really and see I mean, I'm, I'm absolutely in awe of you because you've just got this like positive energy about you Aww. and you've got you just do so you, you clearly do so much and pack so much into your day and a lot of people would crumble under that pressure but you're just like yeah it's fine <laughs> I try I'm like healthy I'm like ah. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you yeah I appreciate that thank you but yeah so, yeah of course Anna we caught up with Angus from AOC yesterday and Anna can you remember Angus's top tip for the, this year's finalists yeah. read the I, criteria um, read, read 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 yeah read the criteria and like sleep <laughs> make sure you're sleeping because when I'm, I'm when I'm doing like a test I'm just freaking out all night and I just need to sleep and eat and just chill I think if I think about and try not to think about it too much because we're practicing it at college next Friday we're lucky enough to be able to practice it and I was thinking I was talking to my mom last night I was like I'd rather just not practice I'd rather just go in there and just turn up and just do it but yeah. I know obviously the practice will be really good but um but yeah that's just my mentality I think I just want to just get it done and over with and just see what happens <laughs> It's, it sounds like you're in a very, very good place for it. And and, and, oh, and, and looking back to when Danielle won the competition, I, I think as well, she was just like, just be yourself, you know, take, take it one step at a time, be yourself, you know, do, do what you're good at doing and, you know, just just give give it your all. So, yeah. and from meeting you today, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think we've got any concerns, do we ever? No, no, no absolutely. Just enjoy about. every minute of it and yeah. you know, really, really take it all in. Because it goes yeah. quick, <laughs> despite, despite how much work you put in, it, it does go quick. I know, it is a lot of work. I'm like trying to designate days for certain things. But yeah, I just, I think I like, I like the theory part of me, I'm like, oh, but then when I get to the day, I way rather just do it all practical. Like I just I'd rather be hands on, you know, and talking to my client, just, you know, like I said, meeting new people and seeing what the day, what happens on the day really, and just going from there. Um, but yeah just the pressure building up is a lot but I'm just trying to take it my stride if I can <laughs> well, ho well ho hopefully you've got a lot of top tips from what you do as as a as, as, as a full-on job anyway so. yeah I do I need a practice <laughs> not breathe and exercise <laughs> yeah exactly so well Shannon I mean it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you Aww. today uh you know it's uh I mean, I mean you're our very first finalist that we've spoken to so far but uh well, I mean, I hate, I don't want to give odds or anything, but, you know, I, I, you know, I feel a bit like Bruce Forsyth. You're, you're probably oh. way too young to remember him, but it's like, oh, you're my favourite. Like, so, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not taking it. I know, I know, but we're, we're not, we're not, we're not, we don't, we don't have, we can't have favourites, we're not allowed to favourites, but uh, we, we, we genuinely wish you all the best oh, for so the finals. Uh, the lovely Anna will be there in person to meet you and uh, to, 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 to keep you occupied and to yeah. sort of uh, ho hopefully keep Motivation. You yeah, yeah that'd be amazing. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, that you, sounds you good. Can put Anna for her paces as well if you get some time uh, over, over your busy two days over the finals. Uh, I'm, I'm sure. And oh. uh, yeah, we wish you all the best. And uh, I look forward to obviously seeing uh, and hearing more about you on the live finals when uh, when Anna is with you. Oh, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. It's lovely to meet you both as well. I'm oh, talking. no, it's lovely thank to meet you. you. All, all the best of luck and fingers across for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Take care. It. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. bye.